Just under 2,000 people across Wisconsin have tested positive for COVID-19, according to DHS. That includes three people in Oneida County. As we told you earlier this week, one of those three people is an elderly man who lived at Rennes Assistant Living Center in Rhinelander. Well, health officials say that patient is currently in isolation now at another health care facility. Rennes officials say one other person who could have had contact with that patient was tested, but tested negative for COVID-19. Meanwhile, the staff at Rennes say they are doing everything they can to keep residents safe and say workers actually have really stepped up in recent weeks. It's a fearful time for everyone. Mm -hmm. So um, we'd be remiss if we didn't, you know, if we said that no one's afraid at all, mm -hmm. but we've been really impressed just how everyone is coming together and focused on the residents and, you know, jumping in to do whatever they can. National health officials say COVID-19 is most dangerous for older people with underlying health problems. So to prevent an outbreak at their facility, Rennes has suspended all new admissions and they've quarantined each unit within the facility. A bombler who you just heard from says they've been communicating with other local health care facilities as well to formulate an emergency response plan should a large scale outbreak happen. There are a lot of conversations going on about um, if there is a larger outbreak in our any of the local communities in Wisconsin, how would we address that and what would be the next steps? Rennes Group has created an online fax page and an email address to answer community member questions about COVID-19. You can find a link to that on our website, wjfw.com.